accomplish in the final step after General Iron closed this facility here in Lincoln Park back in January of 2021. Neighbors complained for years about emissions coming from this site, and pretty soon it will all be gone. So everybody understands what we endured in this community for all those years that they were operating. So people are a little sensitive. The demolition of General Iron's Lincoln Park metal shredding facility that Alderman Brian Hopkins says could start by the end of the month. He wants to reassure residents this demo will be much different from the disaster in Little Village two years ago. There was a huge cloud just covering the entire neighborhood. It was dark. In July 2020, an implosion of the 400 foot smokestack at the Crawford power plant left the little village neighborhood covered in a cloud of dust. Until this day, my parents still find just a layer of dust in their furniture in the windowsills everywhere. Parent company Hillco Redevelopment Partners was fined nearly $70,000 from the city and had to pay another $370,000 to the Illinois Attorney General's office after the botched implosion. Alderman Hopkins says at General Iron, there will be no explosives or detonation of any kind used in the demolition. Instead, a methodical piece by piece disassembly of the site. There might be a little dust, but it'll be controlled. We'll have hoses soaking everything down. The trucks won't even be allowed to drive off of this site until their tires are sprayed down and cleaned. A large metal shredder has already been taken apart and moved off site. It should take four to six weeks to remove the remaining structures on the property. It's clear now that this type of metal shredding operation cannot peacefully coexist in a residential neighborhood. It doesn't matter who the residents are. Any residents of any community should not have to endure the toxic dust and emissions from a metal shredding operation. And as you may recall, General Iron tried to unsuccessfully relocate to the southeast side, but the city denied a critical permit they needed to operate there. Now, before the demolition begins here, Brian Hopkins uh, will be hosting a mandatory community hearing that will be on the evening of November 18th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the DePaul Student Center on Sheffield. He says after that meeting, they are hoping to start at the end of November. And again, this could take about a month to a month and a half to complete. Live in Lincoln Park, Dana Rebic, WGN News.